Hey traders, John Howell here. Even though it's a bit of a holiday week, so we've got a bit of a short uh, short day coming up today in the US stock market, and then also tomorrow is off as well too when it comes to the 4th of July. Um, but I still wanna do an update for you guys to share with you some things that I think is really uh, important and some things to consider moving forward. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, um, make sure you grab that, that, that trading course there guys. Make sure you grab that, that trading course there. Um, one of the biggest things that I have learned over my 19 years of trading the markets is um, is there's there's actually there's actually probably 13 biggest mistakes that I've actually made that uh, that, that stopped me from getting ahead. My, my first 10 years I made so many mistakes. My last 10 years have done been pretty amazing. Um, this year I'm having an amazing amazing trading trading year. So when you go over there, guys, um, that I think I think the very first video you get in the trading course is that top 13 mistakes and and how to actually overcome them so you can so you can move forward. Now, I wanna start off with today's video with, with a bit of prefaces of something, okay? So if I look at the actual stock market itself right now, there is a lot of consensus, right? There's a lot of, there's a lot of consensus out there that this bull move is going to continue, okay? And now I want you to remember the, the analogy of zero to 100, okay? And where we are at the moment at this particular time in the market, and if you're looking to buy it, now I also want you to. I also want to remind you that that there is been there's there's going to be a rotation of things happening. Okay, so for example, that we know that the Nasdaq itself, the Nasdaq itself has had an extraordinary quality move. Okay, so uh, we've had an extraordinary quality move of the Nasdaq where the Dow Jones actually hasn't yet. Right, so if we look at the YM. We know that the YM is looks. It looks like the YM is actually just starting to try and you know break out of this level through here, which is actually quite bullish, right? Especially we've got this little ascending triangle pattern through here and so on and so forth. So it looks like there's going to be a rotation through things. So we can. We, it's important not to say the stock market is right because uh, we know that there's many stocks right now that look like they're actually starting to head down, right? There's many stocks right now uh, that, that are actually on my bearish watch list to look to short those particular stocks in the actual stock market. And there's a lot of stocks that are bullish and so on and so forth, right? So when we're looking at the markets, it impo it's important to have that sort of view behind what is actually going on right now in the markets, okay? Um, now, I wanna go back to that. So that's, that's, that's the sector rotation. I believe the industrial average, the Dow Jones is gonna to start to make a big move because it hasn't actually made a big move. Look at this here, we've just done nothing here and now we could start to see a move up. But I want to, um, I want to sort of remind you of a few things here, okay? That the first thing I wanna say is about the, the analogy of, uh, let's actually go, we'll bring up this one here, okay? The analogy of the, the maximum distance away, um, the analogy of, let, let's actually see here. I, I wanna talk about the, the, um, the, uh, the, 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 I'm thinking about this, zero to 100, okay, zero to 100. Um, I'm just, you know when you have three, three, like three thoughts come into your mind, okay? So zero to 100, okay? So what is that? If we ever look at this move here, this is where the move started, okay? And that's where the move ended before what? We got a pullback. We inevitably, even through here, right? Look at this here, up, and then what? Big sharp pullback, up, and a big pullback. So we inevitably get what? We inevitably get a big pullback, right? So if you're looking to try to uh, get ahead right now, if you're trying to jump in on the, the FOMO side of things, right, the FOMO side of things, um, what's happening here is that, just say down here is zero, okay? And up here is what's called 100, okay? 100 is the top of the move. What a lot of people are doing right now, and I know for a fact, like especially with the NASDAQ, is the NASDAQ had a little update today, um, you know, same with the S&P and so on and so forth. But if we have a look at this here, this is where the move started. It's gone up sideways and then up, 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 right? So right now, I would still say, if we're looking at the 100 before we get a good pullback, I would still say there's so many people that are cheering this on now, there's so many people like, 
that are still cheering this 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 bull move on um i reckon we're still at around about that 90 percent mark now what does that mean that means we could be we could be we could be topping out here right now and and going sideways uh, or we could have one more little little move to the upside before we go the purpose of me saying that is and i'm going to get a little bit of flack in the chat box because for the last week or two for the last couple of weeks actually i've been saying like guys oh, this is probably not the best time to get into it okay this is we're talking about the indices anyway um but as probably most of you would know right when you're getting into a trade you don't just get into it because you think it's a good idea right it's have you actually got a trading plan a trading pattern that you trade do you actually have that or are you just like well this looks like a good idea let me get let me go along here so that's that's where like for my personal trading guess what i'm doing these market updates for you but guess what when i'm trading i trade based off my pattern that i trade right so we have this move to the upside here okay so we're about that 90 percent mark so for those who are going to get in this week you may get a little bit more upside movement but most of those people who are getting in now you're getting in way 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 too late right um and because a lot of people think oh well this is just getting started and it's going to keep going up okay let's look at this here whenever whenever do we just keep going up and up and up and up we have without having what some form of decent big pullbacks right big pullback big pullback and so what's probably going to happen is there's uh there's, there's going to be a big pullback coming soon and a lot of these traders are going to get crushed because a lot of these tech stocks are still especially with the nasdaq right a lot of these tech stocks are still massively massively just just crazy right look look at look at apple for example remember guys remember look at this here look at apple yeah, apple's just going to keep going up right apple's just going to keep going up and never have a pullback i guarantee you right now this is towards the end of the move with apple okay we had that one last little break up i wouldn't be too surprised if this is actually this little gap up here is probably the end of the move and then we actually start to see a big pullback now out of apple um and again traders that's what you want to do right you always want to wait for as you know as you can see right you always want to wait for what wait for the pullback buy the dip 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 and this is where the psychology of trading really freaks people out right because if, if if apple does this people don't want to buy it anymore but people want to buy it up here and this is where like it's flipped upside down right about about the markets itself that's where there's actually a lot of sectors right now like mining sectors and stuff like that have been having big pullbacks where i'm getting excited about that so like, oh here we go right so you know things like that even things like look at meta meta still massively massively high um nvidia nvidia still massively high we will be getting some form of big pullbacks coming out of these markets real real soon guys and we just want to be careful we want we want to we well we want to make sure that we are um we're we're understanding that there is going to be a really big pullback here soon right and over the next couple of months nvidia is going to come down and close this gap um we just don't know exactly when right and so there's a lot a lot a lot even like looking at microsoft right look at microsoft coming up we're starting to slow down now right look at this here so we actually had a nice little down up higher high higher low up 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 and now look what's happening we're starting to slow down through here so this is not a good sign if we do get a push to the upside on microsoft guess what's going to happen we're probably going to get something like that so microsoft is microsoft microsoft the microsoft is actually really slowing down a lot here now i also want to remind you there's a lesson that's happening with the australian market right now this is the australian market right and look at this here and i really want to emphasis uh, emphasize something here okay we've been going up slowly 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 each day look what happened with the actual look what happened here right so in a matter of three days down we retraced one two three four five six seven days so seven days to the upside and then literally three days retraced a whole complete uh weeks worth of movement of movement on the upside right so the purpose of me saying that is that that's what's probably going to happen in the stock market we're probably going to get some really big sharp sharp selling for some reason and there's going to be a news related to it okay you can see it all written in the chart and in a matter of a week we're going to retrace what what's probably what in a matter of a week or two we're going to retrace what, what what's taken a month to actually start to get in there with the actual market itself 
So that's the first thing I really want to share with you there. Looking at now the fear and actually greed index for you guys, we can see that we're still at massively greed. And again, guys, we want to be what? We want to be selling when people are greedy and buying when people are fearful. So right now, yeah, the market's actually going up and, it's, and, it, and it may continue up just a little bit more, right? I don't know exactly when that top's going to be in, but one thing I do know is that people who are buying right now are going to get run over. And now that's if you are trading the market. Like, and again, if you are trading the markets, then don't just buy it because you think it's going to keep going up. Do you actually have a trading pattern? That, are you trading a trading pattern or are you just trading anything? Because if you're trading anything, then guess what? Welcome to the 90% club who do actually don't make any money out of the trading. And then obviously you can see here the timeline here, right? So there's gonna this is there's gonna be something here that's gonna cause this thing to have a big pullback here. And it's probably just with that one last little push to the upside. If we actually go look at the if we go look at the um the VIX through here, and this is always the hardest thing about but I'm, I'm, I've never actually said that this is the exact top in the markets, but for the last couple of weeks, I'm just like, guys, this may continue up a little bit more, but you, you don't want to be, you don't want to be going with this, okay? Um, and now, and again, look at the VIX. Look where the VIX is. We're still way, 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 way down here. So there's still massive warning signs about this whole move to the, to, uh, to the upside. And again, you may you, you may get in right now and it may go up for another couple of days. Heck, it may go up for another week, right? But one thing I do know is coming into July and August, you watch one of the you watch one of the greatest sort of sharpest pullbacks we've seen in a long time because everything is just massively, massively overbought through through what I've just shared with you, right? About um, the you know, about that um, about the, the especially the especially the tech sector, okay? Now, the, the industrial sector is a bit differently from there as well too. Now, if I go actually go look at the S&P 500, um, we can actually see that on the S&P 500, around that 4,500 level, right? So 4,500 level, up to possibly around that level there, so 4,500 to 4,600, looks like there's a different, there's 4,500 to 4,600, looks like there's an area through there. So we may actually even have one more last little push to the upside into that level there, and then we get a pullback. Now, the, the big pullback I've been talking about is in the tech sector, okay? Not the S&P 500 um, and stuff like that. So we've actually had a really nice move to the upside, a, a, like actually a big strong gap up today. So that's probably going to get filled, right? Did we get a gap? Yeah, we also got a gap uh, on the Dow Jones as well too. Um, so a gap up, right? So that gap is definitely going to get filled. Um, and and again, we're getting towards the end of that move through there. Now, moving over now to some of the other markets, such as gold, right? If you have a look at gold, gold to me, guys, is getting ready to have another, another nice little pop to the upside. Another nice little poppy to the upside. Poppy, that's right, poppy. Right, and same for silver as well too. I believe silver, and also that's the weekly chart for silver, and this is the weekly chart here of what's happening. Or this is what's actually happening here with silver. So I believe silver is getting ready to have a pop and get, getting ready to start to have a move back up like that as well too. Same for gold. I believe gold where it is right now. We're getting ready to have a nice little pop to the upside when it comes there. And also, if we have a look at some of the actual GDX, like G, the GDXJ. These are the sectors you want to be starting to look at, right? When it comes to buying, I believe. Because we've actually been having a really big pullback, right? So you buy on the big pullback, you don't buy on what? The big rip. Um, and you also look at things like the GDX as well too, right? So this is the GDX. Uh, yeah, the GDX. Is that the, is that the GDX? No, wrong one. Wrong one. Let's go. Oh. Oh, there we go, the GDX, right? And the same for the GDX as well too, right? We've come back down. I believe the mining sector, guys, is getting ready for a really strong fat rip out of the markets through here. So there's actually a bit of a bit of a bit of a thing of what I'm actually focusing on here. The NASDAQ guys, the tech stocks are just massively, massively overbought. We know that. Don't be chasing, don't don't, don't be chasing those, okay? Be, be smart about the way that you're trading things. The industrial sector, like the Dow Jones, looks like those sort of stocks look like they may be starting to heat up. Because guess what's gonna happen? As the tech stocks then start to get sold off, there's gonna be a massive rotation into other sectors. And I believe it could be some of the industrials, um, but also I do see a big fat rally coming in the metals and miners, 